Hey folks, it's Jim from the Movie Wine, here to review the Spanish foreign film, Time Crimes. Time Crimes follows a middle-aged man named Hector living with his wife in a home they renovated on the countryside. Using his binoculars, Hector spots a woman undressing in the woods. After his wife leaves to go grocery shopping, he takes a stroll to have a closer look. When he gets to the woman, he finds her either dead or passed out. Soon after, he is attacked by a strange man in bandages and is chased on foot. Hector takes refuge in a building that happens to be a research facility owned by a scientist who allows Hector to hide in a large machine. Turns out it's a time machine, and Hector has been sent back to earlier in the day where he witnesses himself and the events that have already unfolded in front of him. He is now Hector, too. It's a bit of a cop-out, but I can't say much about time crimes. It's more plot-driven than it is character-driven, and I want you to see the plot twists and turns for yourself. I covered maybe the first 15 to 20 minutes within this tight 90-minute picture, and it's a thrilling and entertaining movie. It's well made. I think that this is the kind of movie that Hitchcock would have made. If Hitchcock made a time travel film, I think Time Crimes would have been that movie. And like I said, there's not a whole lot of insight into the characters. But I don't want to go into like Hector 2 and Hector 1 and Hector 3 and how characters try to duplicate certain actions prior. If I tried to explain to you, it wouldn't make any sense. You just have to see the film for yourself. Yeah, I think it shows what you can do with little to no budget, and I think it's really suspenseful. It came out like five years ago. I think it's one of the better time travel films maybe ever. It's not discussed that often, but I think it's worth checking out. I don't have much to say other than that. It's just a really suspenseful, well-made, tight picture. And like I said, it's more about the, the twists and turns, for better or worse, than it is about characters. Um, though there is this interesting, voyeuristic touch that recalled something like Hitchcock again. It's a really solid, entertaining genre picture from a foreign filmmaker, and that's unique. Definitely check it out. That's it from the movie you want. Have a good day, folks. Until next time. <laughs>